I think Earth observation is probably the most important thing to have come out of the space age. Maybe that's an overstatement, but for me, if you talk to an astronaut, you think, well, astronaut or cosmonaut, they must be looking out at the universe. I've yet to meet an astronaut or a cosmonaut who isn't spending their time in space looking down at the Earth. And I think that's a message to us all. The space age not only meant we could look at the stars from space, it also meant we could see our Earth in a completely new way. It's only from space that you can see the Earth as a coherent whole, as a whole planet. We all live on this planet, we share it. It's the space age that has really given us a feeling for the global behaviour of our planet. It's important to remember that our planet is basically ocean, first of all. Two thirds of its surface is ocean. It's very hard to look at the ocean. Even on a boat, you can't see, even on an aeroplane. But to get the whole picture, space gives it you. So the understanding, for instance, of how our oceans behave really was radically changed by the space age. Suddenly we could see on the large scale how the oceans carried heat around the planet. Carrying heat's very important. It's our climate. It's also our weather. And uh, the basic circulation of the oceans was radically changed by uh, the space age. Um, so just the oceans alone, I would say, Earth observation from space has been immensely important. But that's really only the beginning. If you look at the atmosphere from space, again, you can look at the whole atmosphere. I don't think, I mean, I've always been interested in meteorology. I didn't really f develop a feeling for meteorology until I first saw cloud patterns in films made from space that allowed, to, allowed you to see the wave structure that gives you the frontal systems that at least most of us live under endlessly. Uh, suddenly the weather starts making sense, even if you haven't solved the equations you can get the gestalt, the big picture. You can see it all together. So, um, and that's almost just on a daily basis that matters. The change in weather forecasting for a country like the United Kingdom brought on by the space age is unbelievable. Now you can expect the weather forecast to be accurate. Now, partly it's because we have very good computers. But without the space data going in and feeding the computers, there is no way we could predict not just the weather today, but the weather tomorrow, next week, with a remarkable level of confidence. If you're as old as I am, and you can remember before the space age, weather forecasting was not exactly as bad as going to a fortune teller, but it wasn't entirely reliable in the British Isles because the weather is very changeable here. That affects all of us, and it's of enormous economic importance. When you harvest, when you sow your crops, farmers now can rely on information that's come from Earth observation satellites. They don't know it's come from there, they, they get it from the radio or from the meteorological office, but it was space that gave it us and Earth observation is for me immensely important. However, that doesn't stop with the weather. The weather matters to us all on a daily basis 
the less clear is the dependence we have on climate, on our economics. It, uh, we need to know, do we need to control the emissions of carbon dioxide, of greenhouse gases, etc., etc., because the climate is changing? Well, the only way you can really get the full picture of the global climate situation is from space. It's by using information from space where you can see the whole planet, you can find out if the ice caps really are melting, if the glaciers in the mountains are really getting smaller. In some places they're growing, in some places they're getting smaller. You need to get the whole planetary picture. For me, Earth observation allows us the capacity to manage our planet better. The frustration for me is it's fine if you just do the science and we've made and I've mentioned some of the scientific advances but it would be lovely if we could get out of the political climate a sense that really we have the information here that really allows us collectively every human being not every every nation but every nation collectively working to manage the planet better their politics comes in but at least earth observation is providing us some of the it provides a very large number of the essential climate variables determined across the planet that you can judge whether climate change is occurring, the speed at which it's occurring, and monitoring it. It doesn't really matter to me whether it's man-made climate change or natural evolution of the climate. There isn't any doubt as a scientist that we need to measure what's going on. You can then argue as to the basis of the changes we're observing. But observing the planet as a whole, for me, is something that every human being needs scientists to do. It's absolutely unquestionable. And so, for me, although in my own career I've been involved in space exploration, planetary science, when it comes down to it, if you really press me, what's the most important thing? I'd say the information to manage our planet better is going mainly to have to come from space. So the truth is, that's for me the most important aspect of the space age.